goes on and on, and some overgrown mountain marathon. It was up to you, but you should have gone to the Neverly. It's a place to go with your family, or when the two of you want some privacy, where you feel at home, and you're glad to be at the Neverly. Beside the pool, you know the greatest food and service is the rule. At the Neverly, there's so much to do, or don't do a thing. People do that too. You can have it all, and it's up to you. At the Neverly, there's a few things I could tell you off the bat. Neverly Resort opened in 1903. And Neverly is actually the word 11 spelled backwards. And it's reported that it was named that because the owner had 11 kids. So 11 spelled backwards is Neverly. While in operation, it had a very impressive golf course, ski slopes that you can see we're walking down now, complete with a chairlift, lodge, ski equipment, rentals. And at one time, it was one of the premier resorts, not only in the Catskills, but it's also one of the most luxurious resorts on the East Coast. It did close in 2009 due to financial trouble and there's plans to demolish this resort and turn it into a sports resort, complete with baseball, soccer field, water park, and plans to restore the decaying ice rink. The plans are to have the new resort open by 2020, and it was reported that construction was supposed to start last year, but as we can see, that didn't happen. But we did see it in signs of other videos that there is signs that they're gonna be demolishing some of these structures here, so. We wanted to get here and show it with you before it's gone. There's one of the old snow guns here. I believe they had two or three different slopes. And they did have a tow rope, I believe, down here for snow tubing as well. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to take a lift on this chairlift ride. So come for a ride with me. All right, Mike's gonna turn it on for us, so we should be able to get going here. I think it broke. <laughs> I think he broke it. I don't think we're going anywhere. So let's just imagine that we're going for a ride on the chairlift. So here's where the old power plant is for the chairlift. It looks like it's a, probably a diesel engine, maybe a four cylinder, but nowadays they're all electric. Keep in mind too that the closing date is pretty rare for a resort up here in the Catskills. Being open over 100 years is kind of unheard of. A lot of the resorts died out in the 70s and 80s, maybe 90s. This one went all the way up into the 2000s, which is kind of rare. So this one really lasted longer than the other ones. And for good reason, because they had a lot more to offer. This was more of a winter paradise. Most of the other resorts catered to summer vacationers. This one was catered to winter, people who wanted to go skiing, snow tubing, ice skating. So not only was it a year round resort, but it catered specifically to the winter clientele, as, as you could say. So that probably helped with its aid in lasting as long as it did. So this right here is the tow rope area for the snow tubing would have brought riders back up to the top of the hill. Check this out. Holy crap. This is like untouched, incredible condition. Look at the workshop here. It's like it's just left it's fan belts. But that is something else.
Yeah, the door's open. Let's get inside and check it out. Wow. That's the old AM FM radio cassette deck. It's even got a steering wheel. Yeah. When you turn it, it would engage or disengage. This is so cool. This is the adjust the blade and your rudder or rotor uh, groomer on the back. I like the old cassette. Yeah, so this is really awesome. Thankfully, it's untouched. You know, it's not vandalized, graffitied, nothing like that. Wait, why, why is that phone ringing? Again? Hello? Yeah, they're not, they're not open for the season anymore. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're just kind of snooping around here, checking things out. All right, sorry I can't help you. All right, take care. I don't know why. Every time I go somewhere, the phone always rings. I don't get it. You can see it's all little, almost like trailer wheels using to propel the tracks. It's got a big diesel powered engine on the back. And this is the uh, groomer, which leaves a nice fresh trail of snow. Pretty awesome. Here's a look at the operator's cab. It's got a throttle, so you get your high beam switch. Pretty cool. I always wanted to drive one of these. My father used to operate one of these at uh, Montage Mountain. When I was a kid, you grew in the slopes. But very, very cool nonetheless. So that snow groomer was an amazing find. First time we've ever seen one in an abandoned location. Did you come here and find that? Please be 100% respectful of that because it's not damaged, it's not graffiti, not vandalized. Just observe it, take some pictures, and leave it be. Oh, look at this. This is some of the old snow tubes. This massive motor. Wow. It needs to be used to feed the snow guns to blow artificial snow. So this is the uh, probably the pump area for blowing the snow, I think. I think these are all water pumps and a big electric motor. Yeah, it's like some of the uh, hookups for the water lines. So this is the uh, operating electrical system for the snow throwers. Pretty neat. All right, we're gonna continue on. And here's the rope line for the uh, snow tubers.
Is this amazing or what? I was not joking with you guys. This is essentially the ski lodge. They have a big sunken in fireplace here with 360 seating. And you can see there's a hole in the roof, so it's deteriorating pretty badly. Yeah. Is this something or what? Just to warn you, I'm probably going to be very repetitive with my words saying impressive, amazing, but it's nothing short of that. You can see on the ground here, these are actually either called wickets. Those are for putting your ski pass on your jacket. It looks like we got skis and boots and poles. And the reason is because that stuff's still here. I'll be showing that in a little bit, but the Sea Resort definitely has nearly everything left behind. Got it upstairs, balcony area. So just to show here, there's a map of the ski area. There's a rope tow, which is for beginners, easy track, and the chairlift with two additional runs. Oh, that just makes sense now. Remember we saw that? Oh, this is oh. yeah, that's where we first came in, and we saw that chairlift, which was all overgrown, no chairs on it. We were wondering what it was for, and it's more of an intermediate expert run. Those are actually the same trails that we kind of walked down to get to where we are, but I guess they closed it off at some point. So that makes sense. Jeez, this is like walking into a time capsule. So looks like they had a little retail shop here, slash rental shop probably, for like gloves and hats and goggles. But look at this. These boots are sitting here, like just ready to go. I think that's for cross country skiing if I'm not mistaken. And look at, the skis are still up there. When I was a teenager, just coming out of high school, I used to work in a ski rental shop. So, it brings back a lot of memories. I used to have to clean the boots and then graduate to a ski technician. So snow tubing, $12 all day, $8 half day. It's pretty reasonable. These are cross country skis here. That's what those shoes were for that I just showed you. So they had downhill skiing, cross country skiing, snow tubing, I'm not sure about snowboarding. I mean, these are worth money. I mean, even though they're older, they can still be repurposed and used at other ski resorts. And they even have paperwork here with people's ski sizes, boot size. And here we have ice skate rentals. There's like child ones. Okay, they're still down here too. A little rusted, but still very much usable. I 
there's just dozens of pairs here. I mean, check that out. It's like they had a type of intercom system here. The rink lights are right there. That is something else. Check that out. That's nothing short of amazing, as I already said, but it is. You don't see this stuff. I've been to plenty of resorts, plenty of locations. You don't often see equipment left behind like this. It's easy money right there to be sold to help recuperate some of their losses. So we have a nice balcony area up here. Second floor with lots of windows. Looks like they even had a snack bar up here too. I would probably lose it if something came out of their soda or something. So far so good. This place is pretty awesome. Let's get a look down towards the bottom where that sunken fireplace is. That skylight just hanging on by a thread. And right outside here is an outdoor but covered ice skating rink. And supposedly there are plans to save this to use it for the new resort. From my understanding, those red tubes have some type of liquid, I don't know if it's Freon or maybe something mixed with alcohol that helps keep the floor frozen. It's pretty neat seeing it completely exposed. And straight ahead in the distance is where we will be heading next, which is the main resort. What'd you say, you need size 11? A nice pair for you right here. Very reasonable lift ticket prices, although it's a small mountain here with limited slopes compared to today's ski resorts. That's a, a heck of a deal. And that's where we were up there. So we'll check this out. Jeez, this is a big building. So this was indoor tennis court and racquetball. massive. So here's the racquetball right here. I've actually never been inside of one of these. Oh, 
what are the chances is a tennis ball. Let's see if we get a... Here's like a little shop they had, probably to buy some equipment. Just we're about to leave, Mike spy what appears to be some kind of weird entombed spiders here. I've never seen them like this before. I'm gonna try and get a better look at them. I don't know if they're like frozen or if that's the way they are. If you guys know what type of spider or insect that is, feel free to let me know. It's kind of like alien-like. I've never seen that before. Okay, so that's where we just came from. We just checked out the tennis and racquetball courts. And we're gonna follow the corridor down this way and right around the corner here was a, or I should say, is a piano. Still sounds pretty good. Well, some of it works. They put lattice on the back of it. <laughs> you know how I could picture sitting in front of this? Church lady from SNL. Yeah. Dana Carvey. Isn't that special? It's a horrible impression, but that's what I picture. Here we got some nice brickwork. And leads us to indoor pool. So we're making good progress here. And this is the area that I do have some before and after, uh, I'm sorry, from some before photos. So I'm gonna get myself lined up and try and show you some of those before and afters. So next time you see this uh, next clip, you'll be looking at one of the older photos. Okay, so here's the before photo. And here's the after. There are some changes, but the ones that we could recognize though is the steps right in front of me and the bridge in the far right corner. Obviously the floor around it and the ceiling has changed, but everything else is still the same. Okay, we're at our next photo. Here's the before photo. And here's the after. Same angle, you can still see the bridge in the far corner. Tile appears to be very similar around the edge, but now they have this green, what is this called, like turf? Like an astral turf kind of. Compared to the tile. And obviously the ceiling is different. Okay, here's our next shot. Here's the before photo. If you look right in front of us, there's a step ladder to climb in and out where the woman's standing. And here's the after photo. Ladder is removed. The bridge in the background is still there, as is, as it was seen in the original photo. It's unfortunate that the ceiling has changed though, because the older look had those big round circular architecture things up there. I don't know what they're called, but they did look much better compared to this flat white ceiling. But as always, I will climb into the pool, give you guys a look at the size perspective. And uh, it's one of, the, one of the nicer pools. It's a tile floor, tile walled, clean, no water inside of it. So it's definitely much better than some of the other pools we've seen. Take it for a walk with me here. Yeah, yeah, the underwater lighting. Nice tiled walls and floor. It 
So we'll use Mike this time. You can see the size perspective of this pool. It's a very good size compared to an average person standing in there. <laughs> There's no life rings here. You gotta swim out on your own. Someone put some kind of hieroglyphics up here. And aside from having this indoor pool, I do have an outdoor pool as well that we will show later on. Let's go check out that little bridge in the back. So just to show, you can see in the back corner there, there's that little bridge. And here it is. And it's a pretty unique setup. This was actually a waterfall back here. They had a nice indoor waterfall that would cascade over the rock walls here go down this little tile channel under the bridge and then into the pool. So that probably would have been pretty awesome to see in its time. And right next to the pool we have an indoor, obviously indoor fitness center. So we'll give you a quick look at that next. So here we have a nice fitness center with a view facing the ski slopes. I remember seeing older photos and I think an older video where this was lined with treadmills and steppers and everything like that. So people obviously have been coming here removing stuff, but still a few of them left. Holy crap, that scared me. The door just partially closed on its own. So here we have a, probably an aerobics room. Got the little step up pads. Like a little stage, I guess that's probably where you'd watch the instructor up there. You can picture, uh, What's his name? Richard Simmons up there, sweating to the oldies. So I found this little stairwell that leads to the pool that we were just at. Down here looks like some underground tunnels. So check these out really quick. So we're in the back house area where it looks like plumbing furnaces are. Some old cots. Looks like a Exxon sign. I don't know what this is. I stumbled into something here. It's like a old maid's room or a linen room. It's kind of like dungeon like down here. I'm guessing this is like the 
laundry or dry cleaning area. So I made it to one of the hotel wings here, and as I assume it's completely stripped and gutted. Pretty bad shape. Just to give you an idea, it's nothing really worth showing, so move on to the next area. Wow, look at that. Okay, so in there is the uh, indoor tennis courts and racquetball courts that we showed in the last video. We just used it as a shortcut. Came out here, we got the Neville water tank, the circular tower in the distance, and the uh, villa is around here somewhere. Might be up top there. Yeah, we weren't here. This is weird. Oh, here's books, records. There's clothing up here too. Look at that decay. Those shelves with the uh, payroll cards and books are falling in on itself. Yeah, we missed this last time. Look at this. There's garments up here. This might have been um, maybe like a uh, dry cleaners or something. Look at that. There's like dresses and robes. Ooh, I got a third floor. Oh man, this is like a death trap over here. Everything's just caved in. See that? 1957, I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, this floor is sagging. My God. Floor is all soft. Look at brand new or unused paper towel dispensers, air fresheners. Yeah, brand new, still in the box. Not sure what that is. This is like new unused merchandise for the resort. So Mike found this box upstairs is Russell's Improved Fly Ribbon. Death to flies. You don't see advertising like that nowadays. Here's like a little pamphlet for the Neville. It says so easy to reach. And it has a property on here and some information about it. So upstairs, Mike said it's just a lot of um, items like cups and papers and 
just various random items, nothing really of significance to check out. So, look at this though. That is just the decay. It's like this half of the building we're standing in is okay, that half is completely falling apart. It's nuts. Oh, got choppers. There might be Arnold. Get to the chopper! All right, so quick update. We just came out of there. That's where all the garments were and the papers falling down, the books, the payroll. Got a little garage right here. Let's we'll see what's inside. Oh, you know you're in the cat skills. more Jewish dialogue. Yeah. yeah. It's, like a, it's like storage. Great way of waking up. Folders in your cup. That was horrible, I know. Some kind of decoration there. Jacket class, something. Red jacket class. Not sure what that means. Even the old door handles, doorknobs. Mike, get that phone already. I don't know why they keep calling. They're relentless. Yeah. So it looks so, like we found our way into one of the banquet rooms or ballrooms. Got the dance floor in front of us here. Collection of mattresses, pillows. And you can see in the distance we still have tons more to cover. So trying to show you as much as we can but not waste too much time and draw it out longer than it needs to be so there are a couple more key areas I do want to show you guys so keep moving along until we find them oh yeah shut off here's where the bank of payphones were As you can imagine, too, like any typical hotel, this does have many different floors. But we're going to stay concentrated to the main floor for most of the buildings, except for that round tower, because it's just going to be repeating itself over and over. Yeah, there's an old sign there. It looks like maybe festival room or something. I remember seeing this room in someone else's video and it looks like these lights are illuminated because they're reflecting my light, but they're really not, but it gives that illusion. Let's take a walk through here. I do you like the curtains that are still here? That looks like a little eating area in there, like a snack counter. There's a little buffet area, it's like a salad bar. Oh, look at Globe Dining Room off in the distance. So this is a pretty neat area here. We got a nice big desk, big skylight here. And this really awesome piece on the floor. Completely made of tile. This is a really nice area.
It's a nice size. I don't know if this is a lobby or not. It's a good size of whatever it is. Give you a peek inside the Globe dining room. This is a an enormous room. This is probably almost a hundred yards long. So I'm guessing this is where all the guests would have came for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The place is massive. Just rows and rows of tables and decay all the way up as far as you could see. If you want to take a peek up there at the end, so head up there next. So here we have, it looks like another type of dining room or ballroom. And this one's kind of unique because it has these very large windows here, but the thing that drew me in here is up on the wall, it looks like some type of paintings. Obviously very moldy and decayed, but looks pretty awesome. I mean, look even here. And before you ask, these are artificial flowers. Some people assume that there's living flowers, but these are definitely artificial. But down here, we got some moss and grass growing. And that is very much real. Here's our next mural on the wall. No idea what it is, but Still kind of neat. Alright, so. Really so I don't know what you guys think so far, but this place is mind blowing. We haven't even covered not even half the property yet. And we've shown you so much already and there's still so much more to show. So hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Don't forget to drop a like and keep watching. And don't forget at the end of this video, I will have a photo montage showing you some of the cool shots I got here as well as showing you once again, some of those older photos as well. So stick around for that. You guys have an idea what this is or what it was used for let us know it says for tuna some type of press oh there it goes so we stumble upon the kitchen area got it i think this is a is that an oven <laughs> Oh, I know Cliff, the one in Woodsman, will enjoy these mushrooms. So we made our way past where we saw what we thought was a pizza oven. I think it's a big rotating oven. Well, we came into this area now, which is very large and spacious. Oh geez, I didn't even see that. It goes right down into the basement. Right, I gotta pay attention here. This floor might not be the best to walk on. These are, um, I think for pizzas, frozen pizzas probably. Look at that. It's like an old like pressure meter or something. This place is like bizarre. Ooh, some of these steps are kind of soft. 
Not a good feeling. I don't know what's up here. That's just a little weird. Baby chair. Documents and documents, boxes. <laughs> All the baby chairs. It's a waiting pool. A little nervous up here. It's just a different vibe up here. What is this? Some showers and bathrooms. Look at these old stalls. Massive cobweb here. Ooh, there's the elevator shaft. That's a service elevator. <sighs> Doesn't want to open. I have no clue where I'm at right now. It's just destruction, bird feathers, bird crap. These are some kind of battery chargers. Ooh, this, <coughs> this room smells really bad. Oh God. It's almost burning my eyes. I can't even stand in there. I don't know what that is. Wow, look at that. It's a little boat. This is really creepy up here. This is like a whole nother vibe to this resort. A little on edge. Hope I don't encounter anything or anyone. What the? Look at the old TV. Look at these brand new. Binders, wow. It's old banners up here. There's even records up here. I don't know what's going on up here. This place is all kinds of creepy. I'm going back downstairs to try to find Mike and Lori because uh, something up here just seems off. And that one room was almost causing me to gag. It was pretty bad. So let's go back downstairs. <sighs> Mike? No clue where they are. Let's go down here. This is a dead end. This McDonald's cups. Look at this has the old screw and fuses. Imagine they're powering a resort with these. Jeez, 
That's crazy. Well, it says emergency lighting, but still. So did you go to the left over here? Through this way? Um, well, yeah, we went, it we go, loops right around. So. Okay, I'm going to walk. If you go right, then I think we're all the way Either way, it goes right around the circle. Oh, look at that nastiness. What are you doing? <laughs> Are we just through here? Yeah. Oh, this is something different. No, I was here because I remember that. Song. Is this the mini golf? Yeah, it just goes all the way around in the back. Yeah, this is very cool. This is something we definitely didn't see last time. Indoor mini golf. I like the different colored walls. The bathrooms. Oh, you see these? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, there's like a dozen of them. There's even a couch in here. Did you go back in here at all to see where this goes? Yeah, it just it's a big loop around. Okay. Ooh. I wonder what these are for. There must be like a whole gaming area down here. I think they had an arcade down here at one point too. Look at that. It's like from like uh, Price is Right. This room looks like a bomb went off. These old breakers. Corroded. So as I've seen in the past, it just goes to show that no matter how many times you come to the location, it's always something new to see. Being our only second time here, we knew we, we had a significant amount of stuff that we missed the first time. So everything that we're showing you, for the most part, is unseen to us and to you guys as well from my first video. So still a lot more to check out, but very cool so far. We're gonna play a little ping pong. Okay, sir. <laughs> I don't have a paddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy>. Boo. <laughs> Cheater. Just goes to show I'm not a very good ping pong player. Like one. I thought we were going to use imaginary paddles and balls. I didn't know you actually had one. <laughs> like, man, he came prepared. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It looks like where trolls live back there. That's weird. A luggage cart. That's like the back area, so nothing really important is there. Yeah, this looks like a large vent hood. So it would have been lined with all grills and burners down here. Unless they had, had a huge kitchen staff. Hey, here's all those pizza things. I think that's what they're for, for pizzas, right? 12 inch circles, it says. Cake circle. Oh, cakes. Well, that was close. It's a pie, you know? <laughs> This 
is like a apocalyptic world back here. I heard voices. Somebody's else is here. Okay, there's more back kitchen area, so keep moving on. I'm a little bit late, but Happy New Year. Don't be laughing at me. Okay, so the next direction we're going to head is straight through that way. Well, it's raining out. You can see it on the glass. Very easy to get lost in here. It's unbelievable how massive and sprawled out this place is. There's little corridors, there's public areas, there's employee areas. And check this out here. Okay, so throughout the property here you may see these pieces of paper that are numbered it looks like almost like a radioactive sign mike actually watched uh, in someone else's video and knows what they're for so he's going to explain that now uh from what i saw in someone else's video they said uh especially in the the main building the, the circular one um was where they're going to drill and put dynamite and blow the building up um you'll see uh fluorescent highlighters in different areas carpets cut and where they they sprayed the area so it looks like they're going to dynamite it and let it go so i guess they're pretty near to that process otherwise they wouldn't be up here so it looks like we came just in time this looks like almost like a little business center It's like a Jewish Bible. Here's a little stage. It's windy out though. So there is a theater in this building somewhere. I don't know where it's at. This is definitely not it. We still have yet to find it, but we will. Oh, here's the theater. And what do you know? I just found the theater. We're going to head downstairs because I do have a before photo of this. And we can help see the difference. So, head downstairs next. So, we finally made it downstairs to the lower level of the theater. So now I'm going to show you the before photo. So here's the before photo of the Stardust Lounge. And here's how it looks today. You can still easily recognize it. It's got the same swooping top there. The holes are in the wall for those stars. The only thing that's missing is all the tables and chairs. Very cool though, very retro and vintage. Take a walk up there, we'll get a closer look at it. This curtain is pretty awesome. It's the nice ruffles. Do you have to say one thing about this location is that there's people up there. Oh no, that's us. <laughs> Uh, if you guys see up there in the glass, I thought someone was walking up there with a the light. That's actually my lights. Sorry about that. What I was saying though is one thing about this location is that there's not really much graffiti. 
that's been spared of that. Obviously, it's very vandalized and decayed, but it's nice to see a place with no graffiti, or minimal at least. So here's a backstage area. Oh, they got like, different curtains back here and backdrops. This is probably something for maybe New Year's Eve or something. And it's a see-through curtain too. Turn my lights off, you can see. Pretty awesome. So you can just imagine back in the heyday, some of the performers that were on that stage, some of the newlyweds that were here, honeymooners, maybe people that met their loved ones here. It's silence now, but at one time it was bustling with activity. Decon and exclusion. This is a big puddle down here. As we're making our way to, there's a good shot here of something that's beautiful and something that's ugly. Obviously the ceiling is the lighter part, but this large it's like marble faced wall. It's quite beautiful. So we're walking down a uh, main corridor now near the one of the front buildings. And it looks like they have some private rooms here. This one's called the Con Congressional 2. They're like little meeting rooms or something. So haven't seen those before, but straight ahead of us says coffee shop. So we're headed that direction next. Yeah, that's what Mike mentioned earlier. It's going to be a drill mark to blast this building up. Oh, look at the tile. It's space invaders going on. <laughs> like they had a little pastry area, probably. This is a little area off the, the main area where you could come get some coffee or some pastries, I'm guessing. Empire Fire Panel Reset. These are the back house areas as they're known employee corridors so I've been going any further this way we've still got more to check out though hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content we got a couple more cool areas to show you including the top of that penthouse and that round tower that the outdoor pool and hopefully one or two other spots and then we'll be showing you the majority of the cool stuff here everything else is kind of just repetitive rooms back house areas um, endless wings and hallways so I was telling Mike you could spend all day here and not see everything that's here but like the usual places what's not really worth showing everything so hopefully at least showed more of the interesting stuff to you guys and more than what the other explorers have showed in their videos okay we're up on the second level now of the main building here just to give you orientation down there and over is where the theater is And there's one of our soon-to-be destinations. Got the presidential room, I guess it's, this is where uh, President Trump is staying.
So we were in that room before, that's the Sahara Cafe. So we're kind of walking in a maze here. We have to figure out our orientation and see where to go from here. So we'll take a little break here and be back momentarily. Look at that. Actually, it's, I have a 13. Yeah, 13, but it goes from ground, main, 11 through 16. It's probably not the wisest decision, but. Ooh, you can feel a lot of cold air in here. I'm not stepping all the way in. Hmm. Look at this shag carpeting. <clears throat> Oh, there's more of those signs for the demolition. Keeps going up too. Um, yes, yeah, like me and checking. Oh, and back here, I think, is the inner office area where there's a uh, keys and stuff. That's a time clock. What is this? Ski boots. Skis. I wonder what the hell's down here. Spider web heaven. These pictures down here too. These are all polar like photographs. Whew. Yeah, we were never down here. What's this called? The uh, menorah or something? Or I think possibly. Oh, Christmas! Yeah, there it is. It's officially abandoned! Yay! Christmas lights, poinsettias, a reindeer. I had my doubts if it was abandoned, but at least this confirms it. I wasn't quite sure. Mike, do you want to get laid? Ooh. Look at that. I like Nevely. Oh, look at these. You're all documents and stuff, payroll. There is just heaps of stuff down here. Oh, computer monitors. There's probably about two dozen of them in here. There's fax machines, keyboards. Oh, this is a goopy mess here. Jeez, this looks like a death chamber down here. This is so creepy. I don't know which way to go. Take a look at this hallway here. Like, are these doors? We got more steps going down. Do you want to see where that goes straight when you're done? Yeah. I'll check down here quick. Oh, okay. So we're downstairs below the main lobby now. There's some of the new dressing rooms. This one is, uh, Wow. Got <laughs> you like your own private entrance here. Oh, 
That's definitely interesting. The old lamp in the corner. Well, that's a nice piece of furniture. Oh, yeah. some of this furniture is really cool. Just notice too, see this is like cut in half. That's all copper in there, someone cut. Ridiculous. That's a lot of work to get that out too. Wonder how they did it. Hmm. So we retraced our steps and we're back down in the basement area where we saw the skis and boots. There's a game room here I'm gonna to try to get into. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Okay. There's just all kinds of stuff. There's like dominoes, checkers, gender bender, brain quest. It's just it's like a game room, literally. Horseshoes. Oh, there's Wilson. <laughs> the volleyball. Wilson! <laughs> it's all tight and dirty and smelly in there. Golf balls. Come to the bullhorn. Gamecraft. Run. I'm now the official fire marshal in Everly. Don't judge me, it doesn't fit my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the central hub where you call to get your room service. Look at all the names. Presidential Congressional Ski Chalet, Paper Closet, Everly Boiler Room. And then right over here, look at this, all the room keys. Is that crazy or what? It's amazing how all this stuff gets left behind. So we're uh, back in the administration area. It's a fax room right there. I think this is a dumb waiter. Here's more room keys too. Just smile and wave, boys. Hasta la vista, baby. Robo Cod.
the big, big talons. These little cubicles. Oh, here's like a little VIP area for the stage. Pretty cool. It's like where President Lincoln would have sat. Ooh, nice bathroom here. Like the tile work. Make sure you heed your government warning, even though the government's shut down right now. Okay, we made it to our next destination. We're inside the tower building right now. And we have a long climb ahead of us, I believe nine floors. But you can see this lobby area here is all marble walls. Got a bank of elevators. You can see more of the blasting areas are gonna be there. I'll show you guys this building from the outside too later on, at least with some photos, if not video. This is a, a pretty impressive structure. So before we head upstairs, I want to show you this really quick. We're inside the round tower still. They have like a little laundry area. I believe you know, you'd hook laundry on here or anything at all. And it's like a little conveyor system goes down to the basement. It's pretty neat. Okay, we're gonna start our ascend up to the top. We'll see you at the top. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour right now. We're on the ninth floor, top level of the circular hotel tower. Came through that door, just to the right here, we got a linen closet with this really awesome looking maid's cart. Still has the cleaning supplies and stuff on it. That's a pretty cool find. And once you come out, you have some standard, for the most part, hotel rooms up here. Heavily decayed, heavily Full of mold, but still at the same time very awesome looking. And this is part of the reason why they're going to be tearing this building down, as you can tell by the paper right here. So you come down the hallway here, and you're presented with more rooms here. Some are better than others. One king bed. Little entertainment center, coffee table, or sitting table. Got a bank of elevators right here. And the further we go this direction, the better it gets. This room has two, I believe, queen beds, maybe doubles. A little more intact. They got some plumbing diversion here, trying to keep the water out of the building. And you can hear that wind. It's extremely windy out. Wow. That is kind of creepy. Hoping this building holds up. So we got the next room here. Kind of a repeat, got sofa entertainment center. Someone left their lens hood here from their camera. I gotta say the mattresses are fairly clean. Not really any stains or anything like that. Now what I'm about to show you next is gonna blow your mind. This is the penthouse suite. And wait until you see what's in here. We're gonna start off here, going to the right. Cause I kinda wanna build up to it. So you may think, oh, this is just a normal looking bathroom, but wait until you see the master bathroom. 
It's going to leave you almost speechless, I guarantee it. So what we're walking into now is the kitchen and very vintage looking aside from the PVC pipe, but look at that stove. And look at the view out the window. Let me kill my lights here so I don't get any glare. But look at that view. That's looking at the Catskill Mountains. And in the distance here, that's where the golf course would have been all throughout here. So we got a separate room here for dishes and the sink. See right in the sink, has this uh, protective cover on it. This nice big lampshade right in the middle. I don't know if you hear that noise in the background, that wind is really thrown around outside. Clean refrigerator, let's see. A little paper towel dispenser. This is a very awesome looking kitchen, but it doesn't really go with the suite itself. The suite, as you see, is more modern. This has a more 60s or 70s look to it, but I still love it though. Right here you have your little can opener. Nice built-in shelving, it's almost like barn door type. Another closet, and here we are in the master suite. Now, it's going to tell you up, up front, a lot of this stuff is, is staged. Obviously, as I mentioned, other YouTubers and explorers have been here, and it's very obvious they've been doing photo shoots, but aside from that, this is all the original stuff from the suite, and it's simply breathtaking, that's all I could say. This would have been one hell of a room to stay in. You can see up on top they would have had built-in speakers. Really top-of-the-line furniture. Got these nice tall Ceilings in here, beautiful curtains, lots of windows, nice couch. The part that stands out to me is this wall over here. It has the built-in fireplace and these wood walls. Pretty amazing. And this is only one part of it. We still have more of this actual suite to go, so let's keep going. So here we have a big closet and move down the hallway here where things get even better if you can believe that. More closet space, huge closets, walk-in closets. Got bedroom right here which has a small little library shelf in here and a cot and it's soaking wet in here you got your entertainment center and your two beds the fact that this is still here is pretty mind-blowing because every other floor uh, either one or two through eight are completely empty all the rooms are stripped but they saved the best for last. I know some of you like to know what kind of books are in these places, so I'll give you a quick look at it here. All 
right, let's keep moving on. More to see. So this brings us to now the master bedroom. Very large and spacious. Love that bed. Got a nice sofa in here. Nice little dresser slash entertainment center there. It's not your average holiday and type furniture, you know, this is some really ornate decorative stuff. But still more to go. This is still the same suite. We have a little balcony here, which we may or may not be able to get out and take a look at. We'll see. But this master bathroom has got to be one of the best bathrooms I've ever seen in a house, in a hotel, anywhere. And you'll see it in a second why. Got all tiled walls. Looks like brass fittings there. Maybe bronze, not really sure. Brass or bronze. If you look outside, you can see the rest of the resort. Here's one sink right here. And just look at that design inside there. I mean, you don't see that typically, you know, that's very like luxury style accessories in here and, and style and items. As I mentioned, I'm not great with architecture, but I'm very appreciative of the hard work and beauty in some of these places. Got a cool light fixture, but it's filled up with moss and water. And we have our porcelain throne. And check out this sink over here. It's got these really cool light fixtures up on top. The mirror with this little sliding shelf. And again, I think these are brass. Beautiful countertop. They even got the towel hanging here still. It's just really awesome. And the last part I want to share with you is this amazing shower. I'm going to turn the lights on for this. This is the shower you would see at like a spa. Look at all these fittings and uh, shower heads that throw water at you. You even got a little seat in here. And you got see, one, two, three, four, six different shower heads that throw water at you from all different directions. God. It's completely lined with tile. It looks like almost marble tile, too. I don't think it's ceramic. But that's incredible. I told you that you guys would love this penthouse suite. Oh, I guess you could go outside. Check out this view. There's another pool out there too. There's a pool there and one over there, see it? Yeah. Hmm. And this building right here, it looks like a villa. We're headed inside there next. So that is a building we just came from. We were on the top floor of Penthouse Suite. Pretty incredible. We do have this behind us. These structures right here. We have not checked those out last time. We're going to do a brief run through them to see if there's anything worth sharing with you guys. We'll give you a little bit of a look. Anything that's important, we'll obviously focus on. But um, after that, we have one more building to check out. The upstairs portion of the villa. And that's probably going to conclude our tour here at the Nebuli Resort. So let's head inside there. Oh, darn. These are padlocked. Guess we can't go in. Oh, yes we can.
And then we got steps going down. Look at the sign of that men's room. The illustration. Ooh, I might be going through the floor. Oh yeah, look at that. These are all guest rooms. Look at that chandelier. You've got the maid's cart. All these rooms are gutted though. So yeah, these are just empty guest rooms here. No furniture in them. And all the air conditioning units, heating units are stripped. But at least we now we know what's in here. I'll give you a peek in the one room here just so you could see. There's nothing. Ooh. A little strange. Nothing really worth showing. There's a connecting room. I'm going to check downstairs now. Oh, I've been down here before. This is the stairs by the pool brought me down here in the last video. Here's a little seating area. Still flooded down here too. Here's a fireplace. Yeah, I was down here in the first video. I didn't even realize what building I was in. There was connecting tunnels that took us here. Yeah, I came through that way last time and didn't even realize it. So we know where these go, so let's go back upstairs. There's another set of steps going up right above the ones we came down. We'll check that out and see what's upstairs. Wow. Got some water damage. There's even a blade pen there, too. And that right there, peeking through the trees, is the villa. We did the first floor on that. Ran out of time and battery and memory card space for the second one, second floor, so. That is where we're headed right now. And that tower behind the trees, you guys obviously know that up on the top floor was the penthouse suite where it had all the old furniture and glassware and stuff. I'm not checking back up there today, but I'm gonna go back in this place. This was at one point, it was um, lodging for guests. Later on, it became lodging for employees and workers. Looks like they're putting up the fence all around it. See it? What do you guys think of this place, huh? I'm not exactly sure what this is used for. This may have been like a guest lodge, possibly um, ski chalet, but whatever it is, it's 
Very impressive. Large, I, I mean, that fireplace is gigantic. It's probably six foot tall mantle on that. You got a really cool chandelier up top. Some mirrored walls. Arch doorways, curving steps. I mean, this is just out of this world crazy. We'll venture down there in a bit. I just want to take in this main room here. So let's explore it a little bit and see what else is here. Now we got a creepy basement. Damp and empty down there, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. Look at that lattice work. It's all built in shelving. And the fireplace. It's really nice. And it looks like maybe someone was staying here at one point. A lot of personal trash. Clothes, sneakers, food, garbage. A little bit of everything. You got a nice long hallway with a nice checkered carpet. Oh, this is heavily decayed. Look at that kitchen. Holy crap. That is crazy. This is right up your alley. God. <laughs> wow. That's decay. Ooh, the floor is soft. A lot of rooms in this place. In here, I mean, I don't want to go too far into that's wet, but this is maybe um, living quarters for some of the employees. There's clothes in the closet, you know, a small bedroom entertainment center with some. You know, everyday essential shaving cream, soap, shampoo, mini fridge. And it's not just a record player, it's also a cassette player. I'd go in farther, but this floor is soaked, and I don't know if it's solid or not, so I'm not going to risk it. Tiled floor. That's where I left the plunger. I was looking for it. Very grandmother-esque wallpaper. <laughs> oh wow. This place is much bigger than I thought. Rock and roll. Let's party. Another plastic bottles in there. Oh, got some smut on the walls. Somebody's a fan of Tina Turner and Ebony Magazine. I'm not going to show too much of it, but they got some. Was it Janet Jackson they have there? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this is living quarters for the employees. There's another bathroom there with a the microwave. A big speaker. Lots of reading material, novels, and books. Oh my god, this keeps going. Suitcase. A bicycle here with a cedar closet, rollaway bed, 
nice large trunk. There's a, who's that, golf clubs? Goes outside. Okay, we're gonna retrace our steps to the main lobby area there where the fireplace is, and then we'll head off to the side rooms, and then go upstairs, and then we'll be done with this building. Wow, you know it's old wiring when it's not there. When it's glass tubes. Damn. Oh yeah. That's severely outdated. But they do have fluorescent bulbs. <laughs> So there's the main foyer area. Simply gorgeous. This building or home or whatever you want to call it is enormous. I cannot believe there's like multiple apartments in here. Look at this kitchen. You got the hanging cups up there for the wallpaper trim. This old this is a microwave or no, a little oven here. Look at this. Here's the buttons for it. Controls. If anybody wants a deflated Steelers beanbag chair, you come here and get it. And what is this? A giant pear? Bedroom, this is the pink room. And I'm pretty certain that this is living quarters for employees. If I'm wrong, you know, feel free to correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Carpeted bathroom. Yeah, carpeted bathroom floor. Gotta have your Listerine. Oh, and they have a nice little Tropical fish design. I like the fittings though on the shower. Oh god, these are in really bad shape. And the outside of this building doesn't look bad, but once you're in here, it's pretty bad. Oh yeah, okay, you can see right to the basement. These are really bad shape. And look at this one here. This is a, a creepy looking room. Wow. Just checking out more rooms here. Lots of personal items and contents left behind. A little, where am I at? A little burner right there, pots, pans. Got a calendar there, has the year 2000 on it. I imagine they stopped using this well before the resort closed. Yeah, it's just very bizarre stages of decay and rot. Oh, yes, the Weightmaster 3000. I really don't want to fall down. You can see that railing, it's tilted. I don't know if I should even dare going down here. I 
I'm going to try and go as far as I can. That doesn't look good. I think the other side might be in better shape. This is room 12. Now look at, does that not look creepy or what? That looks like a, like a mental patient's room. Jeez. Again, this is former guest rooms, later repurposed for employees. Not walking in there, but look at, there's books, furniture, just all types of weird stuff. Let's see if we can go in here. This looks pretty solid over here. These are almost like where they would have kept people I captured. Wow, look at the bathroom. It's like a step back in time. That is pretty cool. It's like Art Deco. Look at personal contents. This is something else. I'm not going to look at the toilet. I will spare you guys this time. Ooh, that creaked. What is that? Tea. Packets and packets of tea. All right, let's make our way back. I'll go on the other side where they are. All right, so I just made a pretty startling discovery. I came in the first room here that I showed you guys, walked over and look what's here. Well over a dozen needles. So people have definitely been in here doing obvious things. Didn't expect to see that. Okay, so this is the opposite side that I was on. They said only one room down here is really worth checking out. This is like downstairs, the pink room. And the blue room. Wow, that's some pretty nasty decay. You can see a butterfly wind, ch uh, wind chimes. Quaint little pink bathroom. Guess this is the room. Ooh, I like that blue bathroom in there. Actually, a pretty nice bathroom. Okay, so behind the villa, there's another building here, which we weren't sure if we were in it or not. We're inside of it now, and definitely this is new to us.
Red wing. Wow, look at that bathroom. I love the old tile and color schemes. Look at this like a library. Ooh, that is, we'll come back to that. That is kind of strange. Oh, this is so heavily decayed. Get out of my library. Hmm, we'll see if I invite you again. <laughs> like there's a really small creepy room up here. Is it? Yeah, it's like it's like where they would have kept kids or something. Oh, you're up there. <laughs> you're behind me. How'd you get up there? Steps. There's a pretty big bathroom. I've got a towel still here. This is crazy what we're finding. I know one of my viewers knows about toilets, so you could possibly tell me the date on that. Got a Time magazine there for Neville. Let's see, uh, August 2006. Like groovy wallpaper. Wow. Look at this place. Unreal. I'm guessing this is an old office, but it's like somebody who's kind of like tinkering with stuff in here. All right, let's uh, head back towards that little creepy kids area. I don't know what that is. Oh. What is this over here? Somebody's been staying here. It looks like there's all batteries and stuff. There's clothing back there. Look at that in the closet. The pet carrier. Ooh, something's crawling back there. Yeah, something's making noise back there. I don't want to disturb it. Straight ahead, though, is where we want to go. This is all kinds of weird. This is so strange. It's like a little kid's room. Like, look at it. It's giving off a not so pleasant vibe up here. I don't want to go much farther. I don't know how stable the floor is, but this is uh, something unexpected, I'll tell you that. Looks like even a chalkboard there. They made murals saying happy life, smile. Very odd. We still have to go down the stairs, but let's go check out this bookshelf. Super Bowl. 
Oh, it's like an intercom system or speaker. New tone. It's probably got some H too. If you guys have any information on this stuff, please let me know. I think that's an amplifier. Where? Out here? Yeah, to your right. Oh! It's got a new tone speaker system out here. Huge thermometer. Wow, this kitchen is amazing. Let me flip the widescreen. Was not expecting this. How cool is that? Look at the dining room table, chandelier, the tiled black backsplash with the animals. And again, why is nobody washing the dishes? They leave them there dirty. I don't get it. But actually, I think they are clean. That's the drying, drying rack. So you got dual ovens there, you got the burners, this big hood here, which is tiled. Look at the refrigerator, still got items. A lot of people are drinking tea here, I noticed that. Two thousand one calendar. Look at that clock. This is like a time capsule in here. This is like a complete 70s kitchen. Modern made. Not sure what that is. There is a dishwasher. Yeah, this is a really unexpected. Look at they're even sir um, saving the plastic bags from the market. This is so cool. So here's the dining room looking into the kitchen here. And what do you see what's over here? This place keeps getting better and better. Look at this woodwork. These are, uh, I thought they were pocket doors, but I don't think they are. But look at fireplaces, the uh, built-in shelving. My God, this is really nice. Out there is where the hot tub is. It's like a trophy room. I think this building is probably my favorite from our trip here today. So many cool things. But those uh, wood entryway there is just something else. We've still got more of it to check out though, so let's keep going. That goes back up to where we were. We saw that up there. You know, look at this door. Big heavy duty door. It's just storage. It's got the baseboard heating. It's a nice little half bath. All right, let's go downstairs now to the basement. laundry room I 
trying to go a slow enough pace to give you guys a chance to see everything, but to keep moving because there's a lot to see. Ooh, there's a little frog in here. There he is right there in the middle of the screen. Some retro furniture. Like a little bar down here. There's a bicycle. I wonder if that's OJ's glove. And here we have it, the outdoor pool. Completely filled with water. You can actually see some stuff in the water there. It's an umbrella. So here's a nice look from the pool area. That's the tower we were up inside of earlier. And the rest of the buildings on property is just so massive. There's a little snack stand over there called Aqua Bonnet Cafe. It's just a little snack stand, nothing really of importance, and a little seating area up on top there. And I believe in the back is a, I think a hot tub, so we'll go check that out. So here's the jacuzzi, and you can see it's quite a good size. You could probably fit probably 30, 40 people in here. But something that's really amazing is this shot right here. Look at this. Does that not look like a postcard or what? The nice blue sky in the background, the reflective surface in the water, and that massive tower. That's what they call the money shot right there. Since we're near this uh, little Aqua Bonnet Cafe, I'll give you a peek inside. This is all it is, just a little walk-in snack bar. Okay, so way in the distance right there is where the big swimming pool was that we just showed you guys. And probably about three, 400 yards away, came upon another one. And this one is empty compared to the last one and much smaller, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe this one was for the employees. And right next to it is a daycare, which I believe was for the employees' kids as well. That's my understanding, I could be wrong, but based on what I've seen from the other videos and what has been mentioned, it would make sense. It's smaller, farther away from the guests. And in the distance there, you could probably see there's a little playground and stuff. So, I do know it's pretty rotted in there. The floors are rotted out. It's mainly just like really colorful walls. Some, I think some old child's toys, nothing special. So, I'm gonna spare you the, the look on that one. Okay, sorry about the wind, but I do need to make a retraction on my last statement. Based on what we see here now, this playground slash daycare and the pool is for hotel guests' children. So that pool is for the kids that would be here for the day while the parents were off doing whatever they want to do. But it's not employee, employees' kids, it's guests' kids. So at least we have clarification on that. So right there is the daycare. I want to show you something really awesome. Look at this. It's a little jungle gym set, and this tree is growing right through it. It pretty much busted right through the floor and is coming out the side of it. Wow. Never seen that before. All right, so we were just on our way out, finishing up our video here at the Nevali, and we discovered something in the woods here. And we thought maybe it's something we already checked out. We walked up here, and this is something we've never seen before. And something that we've never seen in videos. I don't think anyone's ever shared this before. You can't tell what it is. This might give you a good clue. This is the Nevali Saddle Club. They had horseback riding here. And this is all horse stalls.
There's a little office. Let's see if we can find a date on something here. Uh, I'm not going to show it close, but right here, something in 1990. Yeah. I think they probably have the saddles there, right? I don't think so. Possibly. There's all different belts. There's all types of riding gear. I think those are maybe coats for the horses. Yeah, this is, I never realized I had this here. They have the horses names too. Tie-dye, Friendly, Murphy. Let me zoom in a little bit to show you. See a uh, rain, Cal, Dobie, Candy, Hercules. That's very cool. There's a big stable here. Maybe they would have had like the Plaques right there with some information or their names on it. Looks like probably where the horses were kicking the wall. Yeah, so they had a nice little corral out here. Probably had trails too, I wouldn't doubt. But this is a uh, Quite the find here. Never knew this was here. Yeah, incredible find. I'm so glad we found that. That's something that's never before seen or shown on any of the videos we've ever seen for the Neville Resort. So, really cool on our part that we stumbled upon it. Turn on my light. This is in uh, a lot worse shape. This is the uh, rental area where they have the uh, ski rentals. Wait a minute. Did I just see something? Wait a minute. I thought I saw someone standing back here. I could have sworn I saw somebody standing right here. It's not Mike, it's not Lori. I'm the only one in here. That was freaky. Alright, let's let's go back out. I truly hope I don't see anyone like that again. That was uh, a little unsettling. I'm not sure what I saw. I don't know, this is getting kind of weird. I think maybe I should get out of here. If I see another one, I'm booking it.
wonder why they ran out of here. I don't know. All we want to do is just dance with them. Thank you.